Hello, uh, today I'm going to explain for you the concept of viscosity qualitatively and mathematically. Viscosity is a term to measure the fluidity of a fluid. In other words, viscosity determines how easy it is for the fluid to flow because viscosity expresses the internal resistance of a fluid for motion. Okay, so viscosity for fluid corresponds to the informal notion of thickness. For example, when preparing a sauce in cooking, a thicker sauce refers to a sauce with a higher viscosity. Okay, uh, I'm going to play you a short play for you a short video to show you qualitatively the concept of viscosity. Here, the fluid on the left side has a less viscosity compared to the fluid on the right side because it is easier for the fluid on the left side to move compared to the fluid on the right side. The same case here. So this fluid, this one, the second one, is more viscous or has, has a higher viscosity compared to the previous fluid because uh, it is more difficult for this fluid to flow compared to the previous one. And that is the concept of viscosity. That is, uh, the more it is difficult for the fluid to flow, to move, uh, the higher is the viscosity of the fluid. Okay? We can as well express uh, viscosity from mathematical point of view. To do so, consider uh, a fluid that is confined uh, between two parallel plates. One at the bottom is a fixed plate, velocity zero, but the one at the top, um, it is basically uh, uh, moving by the velocity u and it is loaded by force p. Okay? Uh, no slip boundary condition basically means the fluid sticks to the solid boundaries. So that means the fluid at point A here has a velocity zero because this plate is fixed and the fluid that is located at point B basically moves with the velocity u and moves from point B to point B prime. Okay, so let's represent this change in the angle from AB to AB prime by delta beta and delta beta uh, be using trigonometry rules will be equal to delta A divided by this um, thickness of the fluid B. Delta A divided by B. Okay? And we know delta A, the displacement is equal to velocity, which is U times time, delta T divided by B. Okay? So the rate at which beta is changing is called the rate of shearing a strain. Okay? And let's represent that by gamma dot. So the gamma dot is basically equal to the derivative of delta beta with respect to time. And the derivative of delta beta with respect to time will be equal to the derivative of this term. And the derivative of this term, that is u delta t divided by b with respect to time, will be equal to u divided by b. And if you look at this schematic picture, u divided by b is equal to du divided by dy. Okay? So, we know that the shear stress is proportional to the rate of shearing strain. That is, tau, which is the shear stress, is proportional to gamma dot. And we showed in the previous slide that gamma dot is equal to du over dy. Therefore, tau will be proportional to the du over dy. Okay? The constant of this proportionality is called absolute viscosity or dynamic viscosity or simply viscosity, okay? So tau will be equal to the constant of this proportionality, which is viscosity, presented by mu times du over dy. And that is called Newton's law of viscosity. For fluid uh, for which the shearing stress, the shear stress is linearly proportional to the shearing strain, uh, those fluids are called Newtonian fluids. Okay? When you look at the textbook and literature, sometimes people use the term kinematic viscosity, which is defined actually as the dynamic viscosity divided by the density. Okay? So, in this figure shows um, the, the relationship between shearing stress um, as a function of the rate of the shearing strain, that is the gamma dot, for a couple of different fluids at different temperature. Um, and according to this uh, Newton's law of viscosity, tau equal to mu du over dy, the slope of the line, um, the slope of the line between shearing stress versus rate of shearing strain indicates or is equal to the viscosity. So therefore, you can already see the viscosity of the crude oil is more than water and water is more than air because the slope, the slope of the line decreases 
as you switch from crude oil to water and water to air. Or for example, if you uh, compare the slope of the, this two line, you can see that the viscosity of water at lower temperature that is 60 Fahrenheit is more than the viscosity of water at higher temperature. In other words, viscosity decreases when the temperature increases, okay? So here there is an example that I'm going to show you how to, I'm going to solve and show you how to apply Newton's law of viscosity. Okay, so the question says as a layer of water flows down an inclined fixed surface with the velocity profile shown in the figure. This is the velocity profile. Determine the magnitude of the shearing stress that the water exerts on the fixed surface for u equal to 2 meter per second, that is the velocity, and h equal to 0.1 meter, that is the thickness of this film uh, of uh, uh, liquid or, or, or film of water, and assume dynamic viscosity of 1.12 times 10 to the minus 3 uh, newton per uh, square meter. Okay, so you can uh, easily solve this question by using uh, Newton's uh, law of viscosity, that is tau equal to mu du over dy, okay? And u is given in the question as u equal to capital U times 2y over h minus y2 over h2, okay? And that is uh, given in this equation, okay? So, uh, so we need to calculate du over dy according to this Newton's law of viscosity. Therefore, du over dy will be equal to u times the derivative of the first term will be equal to 2 divided by h minus derivative of the second second term will second term will be 2y over h2 okay and the question is about the uh, shear stress at the surface and we know at the surface was is e y is equal to 0 therefore if you substitute y equal to 0 in this equation this term will cancel out. You can conclude du over dy will be equal to 2 capital U divided by h. Okay? So now all you need to do, you need to substitute this uh, equation into this uh, equ uh, into the Newton's law of viscosity. That is, tau, we know it is equal to mu du over dy. And you just showed that du over dy is equal to 2u divided by h, okay? And you have the values for all of these parameters. That is equal to, uh, we know the viscosity is 1.12 times 10 to the minus 3 times 2 times velocity is 2 divided by 0.1, okay? Which will be equal to 4.48 times 10 to the minus 2 newton per square meter. Okay, uh, and that's the solution to this question. I hope you found this uh, video helpful. If you are interested, please feel free to uh, subscribe into this channel so that you get updated when I upload new videos. Thank you.